guys, you are in for a treat today. I'm actually gonna be breaking down exactly how you can go about closing two to three clients every single week for your social media marketing agency in 2023. Now, the reason why I actually wanted to do this video just real quick, guys, is because I see a lot of people still struggling to close clients in 2023 in general, whereas I've got students, not even just six days ago, telling me that they've been able to close, you know, two clients, three clients, all this crazy stuff within a single week. I'm gonna be breaking down as well, mathematically, what you're gonna need to do in order to close clients. If you're doing cold emails, if you're doing cold DMs, if you're trying to do the Upwork method, I'm gonna break down all of it for you guys in today's video. And all I ask for in return is for you to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you watch to the end because this is actually going to be genuinely you know, useful to you guys. So first and foremost, guys, let's actually jump straight into my computer. I don't wanna to speak too much in this one, but let's actually just quickly prove what I'm actually talking about. So here's a student right here. This is Heavenly, shout out to Heavenly, by the way. She closed two clients, two new clients within a week, right? And this was only six days ago. So that's actually crazy. She only did four days worth of outreach and closed two clients worth of four days of outreach. This was Upwork, by the way, Upwork. So you guys know about Upwork strategy. I'm gonna be breaking down, you know, different strategies as well for you guys in this. So it's not just Upwork, by the way, guys. Here is Zach, just recently came into my program and he was able to close two clients in like two days or something like that, two or three days or whatever it was. We went from struggling to close clients to literally closing clients you know, back to back within a couple of days. I've had students, you know, go on to use my program and this is not just about my program, by the way, guys. I just wanna quickly show you that this is genuinely real. These are real people. There's Nick getting a new apartment. Here's Leonov with his brand new, brand new Rolex. This was six days ago, guys. This literally, I'm not joking. If you go to my Instagram right now, well, at the time of recording this, it's 17th of May, 2023. This was six days ago. So you guys that are saying, is this is this working still right now? Does Upwork still work? Is this oversaturated? Does a hybrid system work? Yes, it actually works. Just book two meetings in less than an hour. Edit, make that free. That's three meetings in, in like an hour, guys. This strategy absolutely works. Here's another student of mine, literally just messaged me just the other day. This was last month. We're, on, we've only, just, we're only 17 days into the, in, into the new month. This was a student telling me he's gonna hit anywhere between 22K to 26K with his agency. This is Nick again, where is it, where is it? I just showed you the Nick's new kind of like apartment building, got himself a new apartment, new Rolex that are being bought. Here's another student just closed his first client for 1.5K. So guys, as you can see, this shit works. I'm not gonna, you know, keep going over all of these, but you guys can see even even people, I think Sunil, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, even from a developing country was able to close two clients within like a couple of days. I've had students close three clients within a period of 24 hours, guys. So what I'm about to teach you is actually going to work. So here you go, two clients in literally four days with this particular client right here. There's, here's another one. These, these, these are all real people. You can go and Google them. They've got Instagram, they've got Facebook. You can go and Google them to ask if this, this is like, you know, is this real shit? So what I'm gonna be breaking down, guys, is how you go about doing this mathematically. I wanna break down the maths behind this. I know you guys over in the US say math, mathematics, and we call it maths. You guys call it math. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down all of this for you guys. So let's actually jump into the maths, right? So I wanna break down real quick, Upwork. Firstly, I'm gonna break down Upwork, then I'm gonna break down cold email for you guys, then I'm gonna break down kind of like cold social media outreach, guys. So this is kind of like your outreach strategy, your outreach platform. Outreach platform, number one would be Upwork, cold emails, number two, and cold social media message, number three, in no particular order. I genuinely think though, if you're going to like start an agency in 2023 and you wanna start closing clients, like two to three clients per week, the best place to start keyword there being start would be to use Upwork because it only takes you around maybe 160-ish outreach, call it 150 outreach to land one client. So yeah, that means you have to do 150 outreach to land one client. If you wanna close three clients, then times that by three, that's 450 outreach you need to do per week to close at least you know three clients per week. So let's say you, it, it takes you 150 outreach on Upwork to land one client in order to get client number two, then obviously that you'd have to do 300. To get client number four, you need to do another 150 on top of your 300. So now you've got three clients. By the way, you could probably close more than three clients if you're doing 400 outreach per day. If you're wondering how much that works out to be, I've got it kind of like written over here on my on my screen right here. It works out to be about 64 outreach per day you need to do on Upwork. Now, what you can actually do, is you can hire a virtual assistant to do this for you, but I wanna break down the numbers for you guys really clearly, because I know that a lot of you guys are kind of like struggling to see how much outreach you need to do. There you go, 64 outreach on Upwork per day, every single day, seven days a week, even on Sundays. Don't miss Sundays, guys. Sundays. This weekend stuff that you've been sold and kind of conditioned to believe that's the matrix, as 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 um, you know, the infamous Andrew Tate would say, stay away from the stay away from the matrix. That's matrix thinking. That matrix thing. Sundays, 
designed for people to work nine to five jobs. We're not working nine to five jobs. We're trying to free ourselves. We're trying to, you know, be in financial independent. We want to be able to retire at the age of 30 or even less, 35, you know, and that, that sort of stuff. So if you want to do all of that and that's your actual goal, you want to become a millionaire, multi-millionaire and stuff like that, you know, start this business, go on to next businesses or whatever it is you want to do, become a CEO entrepreneur, seven days a week seven days a week you can cry about if you want to or you can just go get a job or you can just go and do this there you go seven days a week so that's 64 hours per day every single day for seven days a week it works out to be around 450 just of a little bit over obviously you always want to overshoot overshoot your goals even if it takes you 200 outreach to land one client then you need to do 600 outreach divide that by you know seven days then you, you've got your number right there make sure the key point in this video is make sure your maths is on point Work out how many clients, how many outreach it needs, you're, you're gonna need in order to, to set X amount of meetings. And then out of those meetings, how many are you actually closing? And of course you can get better and you start making your scripts better. You can start making your sales calls better by actually practicing sales, practicing outreach, you know, split testing your outreach as well. This is how you become better at this. But that would be the first method. Very easy, very simple. So let's actually say it's, you know, anywhere between 400 to 600 outreach per week, right? That's, that would be Upwork right there. That would be Upwork. I know this looks a little bit weird. So it'd be 400 outreach to 600 outreach per week on Upwork. That's all you would realistically need. And you can get, you know, pretty much just one virtual assistant to sit there and do your outreach all day for you every day. You don't even really need one, one virtual assistant. Now let's talk about cold emails because this is when the game actually starts becoming a little bit more difficult. So cold emails. Cold emails are gonna be a little bit more difficult. The reason for that is because cold emails are exactly what they are on the tin, it's cold. The reason why it's called cold emails because it's cold. These are unsolicited messages to other business owners, right? That own a business that have never heard from you before. So the chances of you closing them is going to be lower or even getting them on an appointment or setting up an appointment is going to be lower. The reason for that again is because they don't know who the heck you basically are is what I'm trying to say. So with cold emails, let's actually just throw some random numbers in here, right? It might take you 750 cold emails to individual businesses, right guys, to land one client, especially because SMA is becoming slightly more saturated and more saturated and more saturated. It could even go even longer than this. For me, Personally, it took me 1.6K emails to land my first client, but that's because I was using a very weak script and whatnot. I, I was doing a personalization and stuff like that, but now that I look back at my scripts, now I know what I, I'm doing. The scripts were kind of weak. I could definitely have improved upon them. I wasn't really thinking in terms of, you know, split testing. I wasn't, you know, I was originally wasn't thinking scientifically. That it wasn't until I started thinking scientifically that I closed my um, first client and then client number two came very, very quickly. So it technically was like, I did like 1.6K to land me my first client, then I did another 100. So I ended up doing like 1.7K to close two clients. There you go. So it worked out to be about 800 something-ish emails per one client. So 750 should be good if you've got a strong offer. I'm, and again, by the way, I'm assuming you've got a strong offer. You know how to do cold outreach, cold emails, should I say in this particular case. So I'm just making that some assumption for brevity sake. I just wanna break down the actual mathematics behind this. So let's say you're actually closing one client every 750 emails. Well, in order to do three clients in a week, you're gonna to need to times 750 by three, which ends up being two, two, five, zero emails. And these are to individual businesses. Now, obviously there's gonna be a lot of moving parts in this in terms of you're going to need a clean list of leads. If you don't know how to go about getting you know, lists of leads, take a look outside of agency tramitation or take a look into one of my videos that I did before where you can go and get 5,000 leads really quickly. Look into technology lookup sites, look into hiring virtual assistants to do this for you or even just software that can actually just scrape leads for you guys. And then clean the list up and give them to your first line writers or your virtual assistants or even get your virtual assistants to do this. It doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you've got a frigging clean list of leads that has enough leads in them in a Google Excel sheet so you can so you can actually get your virtual assistants to work on this. Now, if we take the two two five zero number and we divide that by seven, I believe it comes out to be. I don't know if I did this by six, by the way. I think it, I think it was may, may have been uh, by by thingy. Uh, it, it equals about fifty four hours per day. A day. I believe that's correct. It might be slightly incorrect. Let me actually pull up the calculator for you guys, just so you can see. So we've got. 2250 divided by seven days a week. It works out to be 320. Oh, there we go. I know, I understand why I did that, right? Uh, so it ends up being free. I'm glad I, I'm glad I put it on a separate line, by the way. There we go. Free two. I'm just going to put free two, two outreach a day. 
Now, here's where I got the 54 number from. If you was thinking, why is Montel's maths completely off? The reason why I got the 54 number is because we're gonna need to hire virtual assistants in order to do this for you. I know there's some people out there watching this up like, oh, I've got a software, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm te even I'm technically working on a AI software that's gonna be able to automate, uh, you know, this is something I'm kind of working on in the future, kind of right now, actually, to, to be released in the future. Most of the time, your cold outreach, your, your personalized first lines that you need to put in your, e in your emails, because you do need to personalize your emails, aren't going to be that great. So you're probably going to need a VA just so they can actually do the personalized first lines, the personalized first lines. These, by the way, personalized first lines, I mention them all the time on my frigging channel. Personalized first lines are just like, in the email you'll say, hey, John, and then you say, you know, really love the article about you on Forbes, or really love the point you made in the in interview that you had with Max Johnson. There you go. That'd be a nice personalized first line because it shows the person that you've actually gone and do, done research. And I've only just started seeing, because somebody came to my attention with this, like well, somebody I'm actually gonna be working with, so two people, I've only just seen an AI software that's smart enough to go about doing first lines in the way how I like them done and the way that actually works. The only time I've I, I've actually ever seen this, and this is what I'm. This is a new software that I'm thinking about developing with these two dudes. So um, I can't really talk about that right now. Don't really want to talk about that right now. But for now, you're probably gonna have to, have to hire virtual assistants. I worked this out to work out to be about six VAs. Because doing 322 outreach per day is going to be a lot of work. However, if you divide the 322 outreach per day by six virtual assistants. So you got six virtual assistants doing your personalized first, and they're just doing the personalized first lines here, guys. There's gonna be a balance in between, you know, personalization and scale. You need to get the, the balance perfect because too much personalization is gonna not allow you to get enough outreach out. And if you don't do enough personalization and you do and you just go for scale, your, your outreach tempo is gonna be t terrible. So you're gonna need about six virtual assistants for this. You could probably get away with five at a push, but six is good and it works out to be 54 outreach per day per virtual assistant. So it's gonna work, you know, you're gonna be doing 322 outreach per day divided by, you know, divided amongst, you know, six different virtual assistants. And virtual assistants, by the way, are just doing the first lines, just very quick first lines. And it's gonna work out to be about 54 outreach per day per person, every single day. So it's gonna work out to be about 200 and 2000, 2,250 outreach per week, which equals around 9,000, just is slightly over by the way if if they're doing if they're doing 54 outreach per day it works out to be like 9080 outreach a day or a, a, a month excuse me so what you're going to end up needing to do guys is you're going to need to get 6 VAs it's going to be slightly more expensive 6 VAs at like $3 an hour each each right then you're also going to need to get the higher plan of instantly instantly I actually google this for you real quick guys so if you go to instantly where is it? Uh, Instantly.ai. This software right here, you're going to need to get the hyper growth plan because you're gonna you're gonna have more than two, well you're gonna have more than 1,000 active leads and you're gonna need to send more than 5,000 emails monthly. So you're gonna need the hyper growth plan. I don't recommend using Lemless for for something like this. By the way, if you're if you're wondering why I'm not recommending Lemless, I'm recommending Instantly.ai for this. The reason for that is because Instantly.ai, when you buy one of their plans, you only need to pay set $77.60 a month right? And that will allow you to uh, connect multiple domains. Then talking about domains, you're going to need to have around six domains. Let me explain what I mean by this, six domains. So let's say you've got the domain ABC Media. This is your actual company name. Let's say this is your, your company name. Your company name is called ABC Media or whatever your company name is. What you're going to need to do is this would be what you call your IP uh, uh, internal professional domain, your IPD, internal professional domain. You don't use this one for outreach at all, ever. You don't use this one for outreach. You would use abcmedia.co or .net or .io or .org. You'd use all of these. .xyz, I'd probably stay away from that one because it looks a little bit weird. Um, .co.uk you'd use these as burner domains. That'd be one burner domain, two, three, four, five, and then six. There you go. You've got your six burner domains here and you wanna make sure that these are all warm. 
if you want to start warming up multiple domains at once, you can use, I think you can use instantly. Don't quote me on that. You can guys can look into look into instantly by the way, or you can actually just use warm up inbox. I believe it's just warm up inbox. Warm up inbox, there you go. You can use this software right here. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to basically warm up each inbox for $12 per, per month. So you stop going to spam by the way. You never really want to turn your warm up kind of like software off because you want to keep your domains warm all the time. So what's going to end up happening is each one of your six virtual assistants, so like you got one, two, three, all the way down to six, for example, each one of them is going to handle one domain. So your virtual assistant one is going to handle one do domain one. Your second virtual assistant is going to handle your second domain, which would be the .net version. There you go. So this would be the .co. This would be the .net. Hopefully you guys are starting to see what I'm saying. Dot, what was the next one? Dot org. There you go. Dot biz. Switch out XYZ for dot biz, by the way. Dot XYZ. That's a little bit weird to, uh, for me. But that's exactly how you go about doing this. And then what you would do is you yourself would be managing these six people. So you've got your, your, your VAs. There you go. And then they're just answering to you. What you're gonna make sure you do as well, by the way, is you have all of these dudes in one Slack channel and they all report back to you or even a manager of yours. Or you could just get them to do like daily reports. I would personally get them to do daily reports and get them to report back to me whenever they've got an issue and I can take a look at it. Basically, however you wanna manage your team, you can manage your team. I'm just giving you the overview of this. But you're going to need to do at least 322 outreach per day, every single day, seven days a week. So you're gonna end up doing 2.25K outreach per week, which by the way, is not a lot. There's people that are out there doing 600 to 1,000 outreach every single day, and they've got virtual assistants just handling this for them quite easily, and they're just reporting back to them. You can even probably get away with less virtual assistants as well if you really wanna push them, but you don't really have to do that. You can spread the risk across, because here's what I've noticed. If you get three virtual assistants to do this rather than six, then what if one person becomes ill then you've lost out on a day of like lots of outreach. Whereas if you've got six people, it, it, it spreads the risk across because now it's less outreach you need to catch up on because that one person was sick for one day. That's what I've noticed as well. So that would be how you'd go about end up, you know, you know, doing that. So Upwork would be around 64 outreach per day. Whereas with cold emails, you need to do about 322 outreach. So let's actually write down 322 versus 64 outreach per day. As you can see, it's a big difference. It's a very, very big difference. The reason why Upwork is so, the number so low for Upwork is because it's 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 a warm traffic source, whereas cold outreach is, is cold. For something like Instagram DMs now, so this is the last like last like method, Instagram DMs or like Facebook DMs, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna still need to get like virtual assistants. You're probably gonna need about six of them or even more to be honest with you. And the reason for that is because you're going to need what you call burner accounts. Basically the exact same thing as what a burner email is. A burner email is designed to be burned out over time, which is why you don't use your main domain. You use .co.co.co.uk's .biz. You don't use your .com. So if you've got abcmedia.com and that's your main domain for your agency, you use your burner domains for cold outreach. You use your IPB, your internal professional domain, which would be your abcmedia.com. It's the .com at the end. That's the professional one. Don't do outreach with that, cold outreach anyway. You keep that as a, like your professional domain. So burner, burner accounts and burner domains are basically what it sounds like on a 10. They're designed to get burned out over time because you're just doing so much frigging cold outreach on them. Put it this way. Google doesn't want nobody to be doing cold outreach and using it for business purposes. Nobody likes giving business away for free is what I'm trying to say. Google doesn't like it. Instagram doesn't like it when you're trying to do like unsolicited messages to people because it comes across as spammy and Facebook doesn't like it because it harms the user experience. That's basically what it is. Sales harms user experiences because people like to, to buy, but they don't like to be sold is what I'm trying to say there. So with Upwork and, uh, and Facebook, you're going to need to either hire people that already have Instagram accounts, you know, doesn't they don't need to have like loads of followers on them, but you need to be able to have access to an Instagram account or two or three Instagram accounts, right? And what each one of those Instagram accounts that they have access to, they're going to need to make sure that the, the Instagram account is basically linked back to you saying, hey, I'm a team member over at MCG agency. So let's say your account, uh, your, your, your agency is called ABC Media, right? That, that's your business name. And obviously we, you've already got the domain abcmedia.com. Well, what you would do is you would hire a virtual assistant and that virtual assistant might be able to create, for example, like free Instagram pages. So each Instagram page, right? 
will, and each Instagram page will have its own profile. There you go, own profile. And what you would do is have like, just, you could have like a, maybe a made up person. I wouldn't really do the made up person thing to be honest with you, because it kind of, kind of come, comes across as spammy. What you would do is you can just create like a backup page of yourself, like Montel Gordon backup, Montel Gordon backup two, Montel Gordon backup three. And then what you do is you get your virtual assistant to basically to run these free accounts, right? One VA running free accounts and you've got, you know, Montel, G backup one. That would be like a backup account. And in the bio, bio, it would literally say, this is a backup account of Montel Gordon. You would tag yourself in it. Like you would tag your own agency in it. So people know that this is actually a real account. And you can even, by the way, you can even do like a verification video on your, and this is really good golden nuggets here. You yourself could like get a virtual assistant to create free Instagram accounts for you, right? To manage. And what you would do is you would sit on your on your mobile phone and you'd be like, hey, this is a backup account of my of my profile. The username is this thing. So you know that this is actually a legit one of my accounts. And then what you would do is you would say the username of this account. So it actually verifies. It's not a catfish account, basically. It's not a fake account. Um, so I know there are a lot of fake accounts out there. So let's say the account name is literally Montel BK1. I would literally make a video saying, hey, you know, this is not my main account. This is Montel BK1. This is just a backup account of my main account just in case anything goes bad with my main account. And then you would post that and you would pin it either in the highlights or just or actually on the, on, on the feed. Make sure that's pinned to the top so people can see that this is literally, yo, this is Montel's account. And what you would do is you would use that for outreach. You get your virtual assistant to use that as outreach. That's how you would go about scaling your social media outreach, right, by, by the way. And, and the whole verification thing makes it even more legit because then people can see like, oh, okay, Montel actually did say this is Montel beat backup account one that he's basically using as a backup account. So he's reaching out to me on this one because he's over one, blah, blah, he's, he's too busy on that one. But yeah, that's how you'd go about doing that, guys. So it's the same principle. The premise of this is work out how many how many outreach it, it takes you to close one client. And then what you would do is you just times that by three and then do that number in a week. So let's say you, you work out that it takes you 250, this is wishful thinking here, 250 outreach per one client on social media outreach, right? Let's, let's just pretend it's in the number. Well, in order to do that three times over, you just times it by three. So now you've got 750 outreach you need to do per week. And then what you do is you divide that by seven days. 750 divided by seven is 107 equals, you know, just call call it 108 outreach per day. Then what you do is you get a virtual assistant to do 100, 108 outreach per day. That's how you go about working this out, guys. It's mathematics, just straight up mathematics. Anyway, guys, I hope that you can kind of understand this. Let's just put the numbers there for you again, guys. So with cold emails, it would be three to two outreach a day versus 64 outreach per day versus around, you know, I'm, I made that number up, by the way, the social media outreach. I don't really use social media outreach. This is a very new strategy you can use in 2020. Well, it's not very new, but you guys can understand. I don't really use the, the, the social media stuff, to be honest with you guys. I don't spam on social media. But long story short, let's pretend it's 108 outreach per day. Probably more than that, to be honest with you guys, to, to be fair, because obviously you have to factor in that you're going to be landing in people's requested section and then you're going to have to probably like comment on one of their photos hey check your requested section or check your dms so yeah there's going to be a little bit more work in that but it still works nonetheless Out outreach works outreach works cold outreach works and this is how you're going to break it down and really start knowing and honing your numbers guys anyway guys enough blabbling on for me today if you guys want to work with me either one-to-one -one or you want to enroll inside the age tramitation that's still open for enrollment in fact i just created an updated 2023 version of the website a brand new one hour and 45 minute case study that you can watch, sit down, you know, eat some popcorn, bring a pad, bring some pen, bring bring, bring some pen, bring some paper is what I was trying to say. And then bring a pen and you can sit there and watch the actual one hour, 45 minute case study on how to start a social media marketing agency and scale it to 10K per month relatively quickly, extremely quickly. In fact, you know, within like six months or less using what I like to call the hybrid system. You guys know what the hybrid system is. If you don't definitely click that and watch that out and you can see like how I did it and how other students have done it as well, as well as other student results. And last but not least, if you want to work with me like one to one, click the link below to hybrid agency 2.0 brand new program where you get to work with me over a period of four months together to scale your agency. That's not an online program. That's actually live working with me together. You get to see the behind the scenes. I work with you. I vet people. I audit all your stuff for you, help you write scripts, templates, contracts together. That's basically what that is. And you work, work with me for four months, you get unlimited daily support as well. So that's what that is. If you guys want interested in that, both of them have videos explaining them. So click the right link and I'll make it abundantly clear anyway, guys. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon, guys. Peace.